What if I told you that no matter what your age is, you can hit the golf ball further? So whether you're 21 years old, want to hit the ball further, or 81, the info that I'm going to share with you in this video is going to be an absolute game changer for your distance. So this is where in this video, we're going to learn and study from my online student. And he is a senior golfer, 76 years young, and hits the driver 270 yards and even further from that at times. So absolutely, this is something that is universal for gaining distance. Whether you're old or young, you'll be able to apply this info nicely and see some great improvements. So let's get straight into it. So let's dive straight into this analysis of my student. Now, what we're going to do here, we're going to identify three main things that you can all add into your golf swing to be able to maximize the amount of distance that you create no matter what your age. So let's get straight into it. So the first point, if we're looking here at the front on angle, we are looking at the level of turn. Now, again, my student, he is definitely very athletic for someone who is 76 years young. But for what we can see him do here, we're gonna talk about on camera how to do this for everyone, and that is getting a nice big full turn. So you can see how much he really coils up in this backswing here, really turning to where he's getting a great level of hip turn. Look at where that belt buckle's pointing is pointing really quite away there, which is great to his right. And we can see how much he's turning and how that's letting his upper body coil up. We can see with all the torque and tension on his shirt. Now, even if we zoom in a little bit to his left foot, this is gonna be a key for so many of you there. Look at how the heel just slightly raises off the ground. This is gonna be essential for most golfers, especially the senior golfers out there, to be able to get a bigger coil up. Because the bigger we coil up in the backswing, the bigger turn we get, the more club head speed we're gonna be able to generate. It's a real foolproof one. So absolutely, that is number one there, our full turn. So number two, we're gonna see here from the down the line view. And that is the sequencing in the downswing causing the shaft to shallow. Now, this you can see, what are we noticing? We're noticing, okay, that shaft is pitching behind, it is shallowing nicely. Why that is happening for my student here is mainly because of how he's moving his lower body in relationship to his upper body. So you can see his lower body is opening up nice, but really the main key driver here is his upper body isn't opening up as fast as his lower body. So this is where we all have different capabilities of how much we can rotate the hips. So my student here, he can rotate the hips absolutely unbelievably for a senior golfer. So even if you don't have this range of motion available to you, this level of separation available to you with the hips and upper body, you can quieten down the upper body's rotation in transition especially here with driver, and it's gonna help the club shaft shallow, and it's gonna help the hand path have a little dropping effect also. When we quieten down chest rotation in transition, the hand path will want to drop down a little bit more, the shaft will want to shallow. I see so many golfers doing the opposite, rotating upper body early, throwing the club over the top, making the shaft steep, that's not gonna be good for distance. This is great for picking up yards and hitting the ball straighter. So the third point here, we're gonna see in both angles here, and that is rotation, but, extending at the same time. So with driver, so important. We can see round about left arm parallel into shaft parallel here. You can see how, how he's rotating and turning the hips, but you can also see, if we look at the front on angle, if I draw a circle on that left leg, you can see at that same position, look how his left leg is starting to straighten. It is starting to extend. So from left arm parallel to shaft parallel, he is starting to snap that left leg straight. This gets the pressure and that force that is in the ground and spikes it back up, back up the vertical force. It's the most powerful thing in the golf swing is vertical force. Now, the great thing as well, it also helps you clear and turn around the corner. When we really snap that left leg straight and that process gets the left hip to go up, but also around. So this is where this differs a little bit from irons. With irons, we do left side extension. So left side snapping from this position, shaft parallel to the ground into the golf ball because it, that will not have an upward angle of attack benefit of us. But with driver, of course, we want to hit up on the golf ball. We don't want to do that with driver. So, oh, we don't want to do that with irons, sorry. So with driver here, we want to hit up on the golf ball. So we extend that left side earlier as well, because again, it gets that left hip to go up, gets that left side to go up and around, and that helps the club be propelled upwards. So 
it gets that left side moving up to really fling you around the corner. So just like you see with my other videos, I'm talking about keeping the left side down. That is very much an iron related thing with driver. We keep that left side down in that early downswing and then that left side extension lifts that left side up gets the force out of the ground, gets you rotating, gets you hitting naturally on the up. So that is a move, again, to certain degrees all players can do, is get that left leg gradually straightening. For the less mobile, you might not be able to snap it dead straight, but we would absolutely still be able to get that movement happening. So let's dive on camera, hit these three points, how we can do it with a good drill, and how we can do it for differing levels of mobility. Now, number one, like we saw, full turn. Now, a full turn is different for absolutely everyone. Of course, it's going to look different from a 21-year-old to an 81-year-old, but a full turn nonetheless for what you could do is essential for getting good driver distance. So what we want to do, we want to get ourselves to we're turning at our capacity of rotation in that backswing. So for this, most golfers will have to rotate their hips. So many golfers are losing out on so much distance because they're trying to keep their hips stable and braced. We don't want to do that, we want to rotate them. So that's where we want to rotate our hips to the point where we're feeling like the back belt loops of our trousers are pointing just a little bit left of our target. So for me, being someone who's incredibly inflexible, I'll have to lift up the lead heel to be able to do that. So for more of the senior players out there, this is an absolute necessity. Lift up that left heel, like we saw with my student do a little bit, but you can do it even more than that. Get it to where that lower body's coiling, to where you're getting that back of the belt loops there, pointing just left of your target. That's gonna get the upper body turn as much as you can, where even for me, a nice full turn does not look that full. Again, it's gonna be different for everyone, but it is easy let's say yardage on the table, that low hanging fruit, just to be able to swing faster without putting much effort into it. So really get back of those belt loops, pointing just left of that target, coil yourself up. That's gonna be an easy way to gain some more distance and more speed. So number two, shallowing the golf club. Such a big one to be able to pick up an extra little bit of speed. So how my student was doing it, like we saw, was all via his transition. So like we said, not every player can get that lower body separating a ton. That is very much something where it is the more athletic or younger you are, the easier that will be for you. So for the older golfers out there, you can still do it. Not that to that amount, but you can work on more of this, the chest. If we are making sure that chest is still pointing behind for as long as we can in that transition, the club shaft is going to shallow. The hand path is going to drop a little bit, which is great for driver. And naturally, your hips will start to have a little bit more of a leading movement. So many golfers actually don't have too much of an issue with how quickly their hips are opening. Loads of golfers actually do it as fast as they possibly can anyway for what their body's capable of doing. But their upper body, for most golfers, is what goes too fast, too early, rotates alongside of it. That creates a steep shaft, out to win hand path. Hand path is too high then as well. That's gonna massively reduce your club head speed and ball speed. So just having, let's say, the zipper heel, my body warmer, pointing at you guys for as long as you can if I'm hitting in this direction, that's going to cause club shaft to shallow, which is going to massively help with speed, hand path to drop, which is going to help with hitting a little bit more on the up. Absolutely brilliant. So, okay, I'm going to have my zipper pointing behind for as long as I can. It's going to help me shallow it, getting that nice full turn as well. God, I've got two really good components to create some more speed, regardless of your age. So the third, rotation and extension. So why these are the same thing here? Because they happen pretty much simultaneously in that downswing. Too fast for you to be able to segment. So that's where what we saw with my student again, like we saw we, he was coming that downswing as soon as he was opening up, clearing up, and he was getting to around left arm parallel to shaft parallel. In this position here, he was starting to snap that left leg straight. You can see what that's gonna do. That's gonna get that left shoulder moving up and around, which helps for the upward angle of attack. That's a really big thing for left side extension. Helps you propel the club up. Helps that force that you put into the ground in transition to come back up, which is the vertical force, which is the most let's say, powerful force in the golf swing out of the rotational, vertical and lateral. It is the strongest one in correlation to club head speed. So it really spikes that force out the ground, but also, you can see, helps me to turn around the corner as well. So it helps me to get that last little bit of rotation, which helps, of course, for club head speed, club face control, tons of good stuff there. So a little feel here, guys, to get this. Now, this is highly successful, this real feel, because it gets the rotation and it gets the extension working at the same time. I want you, as you're starting your downswing, so you can feel like your chest is still pointing behind, and I want you to feel like your hips are pushing back. 
especially your left hip. You get your left hip to push back in transition and you just keep pushing it back and back and back and back and back. So we're not technically trying to spin it, trying to rotate it. We're just pushing the hip back. What's gonna happen? Of course, I'm gonna to start to rotate as you can see. You can see how I'm keeping my chest more quiet. It's keeping the club on path. But also, if I just keep pushing that left hip more and more and more and more and more and more back, you can see how it's getting my left side to extend really nicely at the right timing as well. So left hip back, 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 back. You can see that left side's extending, getting me the rotation, getting me the extension. It's doing everything I want just from that one feel. So almost feeling like, again, I'm hitting balls down in this direction. There's a wall here. And I'm trying to get that left side of the pelvis back onto that wall. That's gonna be a great one to feel. So a wall behind you, a couple foot. You're trying to back that left side onto it. Absolutely. That's gonna be brilliant for absolutely getting this movement in there. So guys, a good thing about those three things, you can all do those feels out on the golf course, not necessarily a drill for them. You can go and apply those feels onto the golf course straight away. I'd always recommend get some practice in there, but absolutely have a good go at these. Some people will be able to do it more than others. That's absolutely understandable. But even for myself, as you've probably seen from some of my videos, I'm disabled in my left side. I have cerebral palsy. I'm not the best, most athletic person ever to swing a golf club by any stretch of the imagination. But I can do the moves. I have mobility of someone generally in their 70s and 80s. So I can get that movement in there, but you won't be all able to get it a crazy amount. Some will be able to be absolutely fine, just like you see with my student. Absolutely very gifted in the athletic department for sure. But absolutely, if you're younger, more mobile, this is gonna help you a ton. But absolutely, even if you're a senior golfer, you're still gonna have some great gains from this, especially full of turn, keeping that chest in good sequence, pushing those hips back. It's gonna be all just things that you can do in different degrees of technicality and still have some great results from it. So if you enjoyed the video, click that like button. If you want more golf instruction just like this, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell button too to be notified every time I put out a video.